and welcome back to the Old Golden Black YouTube channel. I'm Tom Raz and thank you very much for joining me. Thank you to everybody who subscribed over the last few days. It's been a massive influx since the change of the channel. And also if you watch Dave Azapardi's channel, he's given me a massive boost as well through uh, his latest video. So if you want to check his page out then let's go on over there. He's a big Wolves fan. He's also a football manager. Um, YouTuber, so there's lots of stuff on his channel that you can enjoy. Also, <clears throat> like to, well, carrying on with Dave as a party, big shout out, big thank you to him for providing the new introduction to these videos. He spent a lot of time grafting and putting them together, so thank you very much. And also, a big thank you to a person called Harry Luton, who I'll put his link to his Twitter down below. He did a fantastic job at putting together the new banner and the new logo for the channel, so thank you ever so much for that. It's been excellent excellent addition to this channel so thank you both for your input. Now the fixture list was announced today and we'll uh, start off with a home fixture against Middlesbrough. A tough fixture of course because they've got relegated from the Premier League but I think that they will be reeling a little bit from their terrible season that they've just had and hopefully we can take advantage of that. If we can get stuck in early on in the game and put them under pressure I can see them crumbling and, and hopefully we can take advantage of that and get some get some points to start off the season. Of course then the Yeovil Town game then uh, in the League Cup and their first away game against Derby followed by a Tuesday night game away at Hull and I'm glad that we're playing Hull in August not in the middle of January. So September trips to Forest and to Burton so two quite local trips. I think the start of the season looks like there could be quite a big away following. As we head into October Villa, Preston, QPR and Norwich. November was a tricky month for us last season. We here, we've got Fulham, Leeds and Bolton at home with Reading away so perhaps having more games at home in that month could favour us. December, the stand-up fixture there is the Blues away game. We've also got Sheffield Wednesday away which is a game that I'm looking forward to. Uh, New Year's Day 2018 we start against Brentford, Barnsley away and Ipswich away in that month with Forest at home. February of course was a month that was dire last season so hopefully this will be a little bit better we've got home matches against Sheffield United QPR and Norwich with away trips to Preston and Fulham so March coming into the business end of the season we've got Villa at Villa Park Burton at home they're the two games that I'm looking forward to I've never seen Burton in the flesh and then April trip to Cardiff tricky game against Hull at home Blues at home, Bolton away, Sheffield Wednesday away before finishing off the season with a long old trek up to Sunderland for a half past 12 kickoff on a Sunday. I reckon there's going to be something riding on that game. We've had good times up there, remember the 3-1 win in 2011 and with it being the bank holiday, possibly there could be a very long weekend up there. Also a tiny little bit of news coming out of the club over the last day or so is that Pat Mountain has left the club to move to Hull to be their goalkeeping coach. He had been offered a job in the academy at Wolves but he turned that down to go to Hull instead for a senior role and I don't blame him. There's been a few people slagging him off somewhat in the, on Twitter and stuff but I don't know where that's come from because he's been okay. I mean our goalkeepers really haven't been a problem for the last few years. In terms of transfers, a little bit quieter today, but I think there's a couple of deals that are expected to go through pretty shortly. George Saville is still rumoured to be leaving, uh, and Josh Scowan, the Barnsley midfielder, is being touted as a replacement for him. I'm not sure, I don't know much about him, but his contract is expiring now, so perhaps he could be somebody who could come in. Richard Stearman is looking like he's going to be loaned out again by Fulham this season. I don't think Wolves should be going for him, and I don't think they will with the signing of Roderick Miranda and Ryan Bennett, who sort of covered that base now. We don't need any more defenders, so Stearman won't be coming in. But lots of other championship play, uh, clubs are interested in him. I can't believe he's only 29. He's, it seems like he's been around for years and years and years. Of course, Wolves signed him. 2008 so that was nine years ago and he was a young defender then right so that's all for today thank you very much for watching if you're on your GCSEs and you've finished or your A levels you must be absolutely loving your lives I'm so jealous because at the moment I'm trapped in my little classroom sweating my face off if you finish your exams well done and I hope that you enjoy your long summer now and it won't be long until the football season starts and the fixtures are out plays back in training next week lots to look forward to don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.